One of the most foundational ways that our body acts and interacts with our environment is through our feet, right? It's the thing that's always in contact with the ground. Um, but unfortunately, most of the time, right, we're shoving our feet into different footwear, whether that's for fashion or for work, right? There's, there's nothing right or wrong about it. But knowing that a lot of the times our feet get compressed in, and contracted due to this chronic shoving into a small box kind of a feel, we need to talk about how to start to mobilize the feet in a, in a very natural way in the sense of what are things that I can do at the drop of a hat to get some motion in my feet and get some activation so I can feel more where my feet are a little bit better and so when I'm working out or just standing walking, how do I create more awareness into my feet so that I can become more stable, I can use more appropriate muscular activations, right? We know people that are really forward on their toes use their quads more, people that are really back on their heels use their glutes more, and so how do we create a more balanced picture with a very simple mobilization. So this one is just simply called the foot handshake, right? And so literally all we're gonna do is we're gonna have a handshake with my foot. So if we here have a foot, you can either grab from the back or grab from the front, it does not matter, but I'm going to splay these, these toes out wide and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna interlock my fingers into those toes. So it usually helps to use both hands to kind of wiggle and weasel that in there. And starting off, like me, I, uh, I was in a soccer tournament all this weekend. My feet, is, my feet are really, really tight right now. So I can barely get my fingers through here. That's totally fine, right? We're just trying to allow for space to start to build where the basically the ends of my foot bone, right, connects into those toes. So grabbing here, I also like to grab kind of at the mid arch of the foot, right? Most of the time we have kind of a little bony ridge at the top here. These are some of the, the tarsal bones. I'm going to grab here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to think of shearing back and forth just like I was grabbing a uh, mason jar or a pickle jar, right? And one hand's going to go in one direction, one hand's going to go in the opposite direction. This shearing back and forth once I have my fingers in there starts to create some mobility in kind of this midfoot. And again, the hardest part is just getting your fingers in there, but once you kind of got them in there and locked, you can start to shear back and forth. This is as simple as it is. A lot of people lack motion, lack rotation in the midfoot. And so as we can kind of wiggle that back and forth, back and forth, we can really start to open this, these structures up to allow for better blood flow down into the toes, allow for more sensory activation of the bottom of the foot, right? And then what I can, what I usually like to do is after we've kind of splayed that open, cause that's never really a, a, a comfortable guy, is I'll just grab those toes in general and just kind of wrench them down and wrench them up, right? We've worked rotation. Now we're gonna work kind of this flexion and extension, right? Taking that foot down and forward. And so I just kind of wiggle those back and forth. Then I'll come back in, do a little bit more of a handshake, kind of go back and forth, right? And just taking it one way and the other, back and forth, back and forth for about a minute on that foot. The, uh, the best time to do this, right? Of course, is right after work or as soon as we get home from our day, we pop the, the shoes and socks off, right? Maybe we don't jump straight into the handshake because it's a little too sensitive for us at that moment, but I can just start by getting those toes a little warm, right? Curling them under, opening them up like so. Just working that entire foot. We can also work into the heel itself. So I'm gonna grab that top of the foot here, grab that heel, and I'll just start to wiggle it back and forth, back and forth. I can tilt back and forth, back and forth, up, down, back, forth, right? There's no right or wrong as long as you're not trying to be ballistic and shear through and explode that foot. But just getting, taking some time and really sorts of different directions, like it would naturally as we were walking outside barefoot back thousands of years ago, getting that activation into that foot really lights up the brain. And then from there, what you do is after that foot is now all sorts of nice and mobilized, so we go take a walk, right?
right? As we start to walk and get that input from that newly awake foot, right? That's gonna give us better sense of our center of pressure and how can we start to load that full foot in using that tripod foot, which we've talked about in the past, starting to use that proper motor pattern for that. So the foot handshake plus all those other motions is a great way to get your feet a little bit more activity ready.